All right, so welcome back to some more Monster Energy Supercross, the official video game. And today, before we get into the two tracks we're going to check out today, one that has a, a lighter snow and then one that has a heavier snow, uh, before we get to those two tracks, I do want you to be able to see this mod of the Bike and Rider close up. It's so crazy, and it's made by the same guy that did the MXGP Pro mods we checked out last time. I believe his name is, I think I was saying Leon, and I think it's more like Leon or Leone. 291 and a link will be down to his Facebook page in the description or in the comments and if you have PC you got to check this stuff out he has so many mods and I think he was calling that or did I say this already I think he was calling it like a special edition blood monster energy graphics kit and gear set something like that and it's it's crazy and also if you do get that the tires are regular black to get the crazy tire color schemes you have to download another mod he has called flow I believe so basically when you go to upgrade the bike each tire uh, like Michelin or Dunlop each company is a different color and I think he had a bunch of colors but I think he had two versions of red and this red was the closest one that matched everything else on the bike there you go and also another thing worth noting is I had to grind like crazy because when I got the game everything was I had no progress basically and all my progress is on PS4, so yeah, it was a huge grind. It was like 300,000 credits, and I pretty much spent all of them buying the gear set and upgrading the bike completely, so yeah. Anyways, here we are at Salt Lake City, and I'm going to say right away that he has multiple snow mods for snow tracks in MXGP Pro and Supercross the game, and this one, I think, is the best-looking most realistic looking uh, snow mod that he has like I loved the Latvia one in MXGP Pro and I, I think it worked fantastic and it was so different and so just like whoa what is this you know what I mean but this one it has that light snow feeling where it just kind of snowed for a little bit you know it didn't even cover the whole track and he paid attention to detail you know what I mean so you can kind of see these main ruts going around the track and it looks like he filled in the snow there so you know where the snow would accumulate a little bit more maybe and not blow around and then in the corners it just looks really good where he placed it and put the snow textures I guess looks really 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 good and is the best looking snow mod he has out there so uh, it definitely adds a lot to the game it makes the game feel so different so fresh so new and yeah, if you're asking yourself or are curious, I did answer this in MXGP Pro. Does it make the track any slicker? No. Now, he does. I did play on the MXGP, or not the, the Latvia track in the, excuse me, in the rain. And it, it kind of gives you this feel of it snowed, but now it may be switched to a light rain. And it gets really slick then. So if you want to experience the snow and kind of get that slick feeling, make sure to use the rain effects the weather conditions that you can select and then you can kind of get that feel of the the slickness i guess of the snow but you know here there's not a ton of snow so you know maybe in a few spots it would be slick but overall i, I don't think it's that much and i do like that he chose to do it with east Rus east rutherford and salt lake city because they're both open stadiums they both have easily pot or easy possibilities of having snow and you know whatever but I think another track he did in Supercross the game and I do believe that might have been his first track that he did the the snow or the snow feature on was uh, Las Vegas and I haven't tried that track I have done East Rutherford I did this track and then I did a couple of them in MXGP Pro and I do feel like the terrain deformation in MXGP Pro with the way he put the snow on the track works a little bit better than it does here. It, it, it seems like it's more noticeable and I'm not counting this track because this track obviously it just doesn't have the amount of snow but when we switch over to East Rutherford and it has the heavy snow you'll see the difference and uh, we can kind of talk about it then. The other thing I want to kind of point out is that you know how when you play the game and your rider gets really dirty, the bike gets really dirty. It feels like it gets really dirty after the first few corners. Now I do, it is much better. If you can think back to MXGP2, after the first two corners, you were covered in mud and just filthy. It was so frustrating that it was like that. I want to experience my gear clean for a while before it gets, you know, covered in mud. But, uh, 
you know, not only is he getting dirtier, it's like the back tire is wearing away, kind of. It's like it's wearing down to the, uh, the black color, you know what I mean? It's not like, it feels like it's not just made out of like a solid red. It's, it's kind of cool. It's just like those little things that uh, feel a bit different. So here we are at East Rutherford MetLife Stadium with some super heavy snow. And I think, that, now don't get me wrong, I think this is great. I think it's really cool, but I wish that it's super heavy snow on the track and it doesn't really feel like there's any snow in the on the in-between places, you know, like where the track help is standing, the flaggers and, you know, stuff like that. It's not... It's not really snowy on the outside of the track, a little bit, okay? There is some snow there, but there's some, some places where it just doesn't feel like any snow collected, you know? In the middle of those two uh, rhythm lanes, it was like there's no snow there at all, and that's being nitpicky. I mean, the guy's really good at what he does. I'm not criticizing him at all. I'm just saying that uh, maybe if it was like that at the Salt Lake City track where it was a really light snow to begin with, uh, begin, begin with, I am getting tongue-tied today, I'm sorry. If it was a uh, lighter snow anyways, it, it might not be as noticeable, but this is a really heavy snow. I mean, pretty much the entire track is covered in it. And I, I think it looks cool. I think it looks really cool and, you know, everything. But I, I feel like it works better in MXGP Pro. I just feel like it works better outdoors and he has a bit more air. Whoops, I bumped my mic. Sorry. He has a bit more airy to work with and... Uh, I just, I prefer it when it's a really heavy snow outdoors and I prefer the the light snow indoors so really cool though and I just don't feel like I'm seeing my lines around the track in the snow as easy as I could in MXGP Pro I felt like when you rode around the track and carved lines around in corners and in jumps you could see where you were and it gave you that really realistic feeling like it was just kind of a powder on top but then when you started digging in underneath of it, you could see the dirt, you know what I mean? You could see your lines going around the track. Like here, we already went over that triple a couple times and I don't really see it. Now, he did this, I don't know, four, five, six months ago. And then, so the MXGP Pro ones are new and MXGP Pro, maybe the, the terrain deformation is a bit different. And, you know, I don't really know how all that stuff works, but uh, it just it feels like it's just there it, it I mean you can kind of see us digging into it a little bit It feels like our tires kind of glitching through the top layer of it a bit too, but overall it's really cool I just thought it was kind of neat to compare these two and you know then compare this track to the MXGP Pro snow that we Saw at Latvia. I think he has a couple other snow tracks in MXGP Pro that we might check out It'd be really cool to see a uh, a light snow version and MXGP Pro, you know, just like we saw with uh, just a little bit ago at Salt Lake. I'd like to see the difference in that. And there's a ton of skins. There's a ton of skins for the bike and rider to check out. But the thing, the the mods that he does, I mean, the bike and rider models, he's got like Stuart mods, he's got Villapoto mods, Tomac mods, Carmichael. He's got like Carmichael's 2000 and whatever CR 250 two stroke. It's so insane. He does tons of stuff. He's got a Rossi mod I think I think he has a really sweet mod, uh, Rossi mod that uh, The bike and the gear set. It's really cool. It's just like different. I like his stuff that he does I like his realistic replica stuff a lot, but I think the things that grab my attention the most are different I don't know if obscure is the right word because it's not really obscure. It's just different, uh, different stuff like this one that we're using here. I think those are the mods that really draw me in and make me curious about checking it out. Same with the snow. I know the snow is kind of realistic, but it's also just different. I mean, it's when you see that, it's like, is that a really a thing or not? And it is. So we'll probably check out some of those realistic mods, check out some more snow tracks and you know, he, he seems to be making tons of mods, and, and, and he also kind of, when he does a mod, he'll do it for, let's say he does it for Supercross the game. Then he'll do the same mod, you know, it might take a while, but he'll do the same mod for MXGP Pro. So basically, all the mods he does are for both games. There's a few, I think, that maybe are just exclusive for maybe one or the other, but for the most part, as of late at least, he has been modding. Uh, making his mod available for both games and it, it's quite easy to download like I said link will be down in the description to his Facebook page I encourage you to go check it out and I definitely encourage you to check out these snow tracks I mean seeing it is one thing playing on it is another I know it doesn't feel any different unless you turn on the rain if you turn on the rain or the wet track then it feels a bit different and I should have probably recorded that but 
uh, didn't get it in there. So yeah, definitely go check it out. We're to the end of the video. You guys and girls are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for the support on the channel lately. And until the next video, take it easy.